I went on a hike. I went on a hike up Mount Takao, which is very close to, to Tokyo. Did you climb Takao because Yama no Susume? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I did. But it's also like a good hike. Nothing interesting happened on my hike. It was just a good hike. And I want to talk about like things that I noticed, things that I appreciated about about Japan and how much they they clearly respect nature and they take care of it and stuff like that. Yeah. Mogu, thank you very much for the super chat. I climbed Mount Takao three years ago and I had to hold an empty bottle all the way from Shinjuku and back since it wasn't a single trash can. I noticed that as well. Hope you weren't dumb like me and had fun. Yeah, not only that, like I went into the bathroom specifically hoping that there would be a trash can and even in the bathrooms up there, there's no trash can. There's like nothing. And I'm not, I'm not an animal that would just like leave it there. Yeah, I, I specifically had to like carry it all the way back with me. <laughs> back to the hotel. So, Mount Taco is really interesting because it's paved the entire way. It's like, it's a pretty short hike. I think it's like five kilometers, kilometers from like the station all the way up to the peak. Mount Takao. Takao. I, I can't pronounce it because I'm not a native Japanese speaker, okay? Mount Takao. 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 <clears throat> Mount Takao is beautiful at the summit. It's really cool that you get to the top and then there's a noodle shop up there, which is like wild to me. Like, how do they even get the materials up there? There's probably like a... Um, no, I mean, there's there's like a ropeway, right? And then I did see cars like all the way up in Summit, like going back and forth. So, so there's, there's ways, there's ways for them to get the materials they need to run the noodle shop. That was wild though. Like, I don't think I've ever seen like a, I've never been on a hike back in Elysium where, but in 86, no, that's tofu. They can get the tofu up there with the AE86. Toreno, Hachiroku, but like, they can't get the noodles. How do they get the noodles up there? But, um, an interesting thing about Mount Taco is that like the first two kilometers are just heartbreakingly steep. <laughs> and then it gets really, really easy after the first two kilometers. I could totally see somebody trying to climb Mount Taco and then like getting up to the first um there's like a chair lift, like a like a ski lift that goes down, right? They get to that first one. And then they're like, I can't, I can't. It's just too steep. And then they go back down. But they don't understand that like as soon as you pass the ski lift, the 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 slope gets a lot easier. It's actually a lot easier. But one thing that I found really cool is that like there were a lot of people when I went up. Like a crazy amount of people. And it was like clean. It's not just like that it's well maintained as as like a na like a nature area a nature spot is that the people that like go there which are majority japanese like they just like respect it <laughs> and they don't throw their garbage like <laughs> out there yeah did you talk to japanese people yet no <laughs> no <laughs> No, <laughs> it's, it's difficult. But the point is, the point is like, there was no trash anywhere. Like people were not throwing their garbage on the floor, which is like, whoa, I can't imagine that. If if it was, if a hiking trail that I like to frequent, I, mean, I can't give you names, right? But if, if a hiking trail that I like to frequent had that many people like going through it, there would just be trash everywhere. Not even in the combini, I just nod. I nod or I shake my head and then I get out of there. And then for like payment, I just show them the card. The Suica card. I just I just show them the Suica card and then I tap and then I get out of there. And there's like a lot of there's a lot of like places that you could eat nowadays where you order on a screen menu and then you press the button and then you change the menu to English, which is like cool. I should probably try to learn. Japanese while I'm here, but 
is just easy and I don't need to ask questions. I could just order and then get out. Yeah. <laughs> There's a big shrine at the top. A really big shrine. And like, as far as I could tell, like the people maintaining it, the monks, like they live up there. There's like a living area for them to just like hang out and they live up there. Did you see Mount Fuji? I've seen it, but you can't, you can't climb it or even get close to climbing it at this time of the year. For those of you that don't know, like Mount Fuji is actually incredibly dangerous in the winter. It's still like pretty difficult in the summer, but like in the winter is like, like a nine out of 10 on the danger scale is like incredibly dangerous because I think, I think because like, it's like a volcanic mountain, it's like very smooth and like, it's very, very susceptible to wind pout, wind like wind tumbles. And if you lose your footing, you have like one chance to arrest. If you don't know what arrest means, it means like to basically like grab onto something or like spike the ground and like arrest your, your fall, right? Like to stop your fall by like grabbing onto something or like spiking the ground and if you don't arrest like within that like 10 seconds you're just dead like <laughs> you're like super dead yeah so i will not be going to mount fuji functionally dead functionally and practically dead yeah isekai mountain <laughs> I feel like I'm out of shape and I'm going to tell you why. Okay. It's not a story. It's like a half story. I was climbing up that really steep first half of Mount Takao and it was like steep. And I was like, oh man, it's pretty steep. Like my ankles are kind of hurting. Right. And then I lowered the pace and then I was like, okay, I can maintain this pace. And I was like walking, walking, walking. And then like, a tiny, a tiny grandma just zoomed past me, right? A tiny little grandma just like triple my pace, just like zoomed past me as I lowered my pace. She had like a giant, like clear plastic visor. She had the curly hair, right? And she was drinking a beer. She had a beer in her hand and she was like sipping it as she was going up. Was she single? Get in line. Get in line. I was impressed. I was like, hey. <laughs> she definitely been here more than once. <laughs> what are you about? <laughs> but she was gone. Just like completely gone. It was like that scene in every initial D race where like they, they clear a corner. And then the person that's being dropped clears the corner and then they're already gone, right? It was like a zigzagging path up. And so like, I was like low pace, like I have my pace and I was like walking up the steep section. This granny just like laps me. She just like completely goes past me and then she rounds a corner and goes up. And then when I reached the corner, she had already reached the other corner and she was gone. And I was just like, damn. <laughs> damn. So anyway, <laughs> I am not in shape if I can get lapped that badly by a grandma drinking a beer alone. Wasn't even in a group. She's just like walking up it alone. Damn. <laughs> 100 kilometer granny. Exactly. I'm not going to lie. I did. I did feel a little like I did feel a little self-conscious. It's like, hey, maybe I should maybe I should. Maybe I should exercise more. <laughs> that just means you need a beer. <laughs> oh, so good. <laughs> Grandma just built different. Okay, 